satanic difficulty that supersedes Death Wish in many ways, way more than the name suggests. Of course the name comes from the single down allowed before custody, but higher damage dealing cops, buffed armor on cops, higher spawn rates and longer assault waves make this a force to be reckoned with and not for the faint hearted casual player. So Beecroft, you got any tips? The build of course is one of the most important factors when playing at a higher difficulty. Without going into specific builds here, there are some prerequisites that go without saying when you look at what a build should contain when playing on one down difficulty. First off of course, if you haven't already figured it out, would be 9 lives aced. For 4 measly skill points you make the namesake of 1 down become 2 down. Aced this skill allows one more bleed out before custody, now allowing 2. Yippee. Next is Inspire. You will go down, your teammates will go down. Having some Inspires on the team helps, it's a lot of points but it has a lot of benefits. How about jokers or converted cops? Well, there's no denying that the more the merrier in the carnage is a welcomed addition and the potential for some solid meat shields should be carefully considered. If everyone runs these skills maxed out, you can potentially have 8 extra tanks on your side while at the same time allowing you a movement and health buff. A caveat of one down builds is that you never feel you have enough skill points, you are just shy of that perfect build. Is this devious planning, a perfect balance or just plain annoying? As far as a perk deck goes, well, you're on your own here and recommendations vary very much on playstyle, skill and team dynamic. A full armor team running ammo bags has its drawbacks as does a team of rogues running messiah and maxed out doctor bags. My tip here is to coordinate the best you can, use your deployables tactically to maximize your efficiency and speak to your teammates if at all possible. Yes, the bows have been nerfed, the sales of the chivalry pack had an immediate rise to stardom for at least a week as everyone scrambled to use the 4000 damage bows and ridiculous pistol crossbows. Back to reality and the crossbows are still very viable, some still doing damage in the thousands and providing great concealment if your wish is to dodge as much as possible with sneaky bastard. Bows without explosive bolts provide a great ammo retrieval not seen in any other weapon variant but be warned however if you can't hit a bulldozer in the face within 10 meters then these may not be for you. Some of the notable weapon mentions have to go to the grenade launchers. The Piglet, the GL40 and the China Puff are great options with their extremely high damage and great ammo pickup rates. Seemingly DLC is king here in the one down difficulty realm but high damage output weapons can be crafted with regular guns. Critical hit damage skills with modded pistols and shotguns are extremely effective and these weapon variants also carry a skill tree dedicated to them to aid their use and effectiveness. Yet another no brainer here but headshot multipliers are your friend. Tired of putting 40 shots into a bulldozer's belly? Aim slightly higher and kill him quicker. High accuracy headshots will reward players tremendously and make you way more successful on one down than many other tactics. Killing with more efficient headshots makes sure that these bullet sponge cops don't suck out all of your ammo leaving you thirsty for an ammo bag only 3 minutes into the first assault. I wouldn't advise moving bags in the middle of an assault. Hold your fight and wait it out. If it's possible for one person to run off and take care of the objective while others take the heat and distract the cops then great, but trying to keep an objective going while getting lasered in on by bulldozers and everything else in between just isn't that smart. And finally, have fun with it. If it's just too hard, then don't play it, work towards it. Mayhem difficulty was added for a reason and is meant to smooth out the difficulty curve. I foresee that many people will play with a one down heist in order to get the one down mask and achievements and then no longer play the heist on that difficulty as it really isn't that much fun. Guys please leave all of your own tips and ideas in the comments below and let's try and help out as many people as we can get that one down mask. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you guys later.